Hello and welcome to Good Geometry. This is how you construct a triangle according to the specifications shown. First draw an oblique line 8.2 cm long. You will need a ruler for this. With the element icon selected, you can load one and then move it a bit. Tap on the image symbol and then tap on the ruler. With the rotate symbol you can rotate the ruler. Make sure that the ruler is aligned with the dotted line. Check again, then you can draw a line with 8.2 cm length along the ruler. Start at 0 on the left and measure the 8.2 cm. Now you don't need the ruler anymore. Select the element symbol and tap on the ruler. With the red X symbol you can delete the ruler. Now draw an angle of 110 degrees on the left side. For this you need the geometry triangle. With the element symbol selected you can load one. Then move the zero point of the triangle to this point. To do this, select the element symbol again and tap on the triangle. Now you can move the triangle exactly to the left beginning of the line. When it is exactly positioned, select the image symbol and tap on the triangle. Now you can align the triangle exactly to the line. Again, make sure that the tips of the triangle touch the dotted circle so that the triangle does not change in size. If everything is correct, select the pencil symbol, draw a line from the origin and enter the angle of 110 degrees. Then, at the right end of the original line, draw a line with the angle of 30 degrees in the same way. After that you can label the drawn triangle. You can calculate the angle in the upper corner. This has 40 degrees. How do you measure the angles now? Again you take the geometry triangle. Position the zero point of the geometry triangle exactly on a line. With the image symbol selected, you can now rotate it and align it to the line. Now select the element symbol again. Tap the geometry triangle again and move it with the zero point to the upper tip of the drawn triangle. Now you can read the 40 degrees. Then we measure the lengths of the lines. For this you need the ruler again. We align the ruler with its center to this line. Select the element symbol again. Select the ruler and move it to the line. Then select the ruler again with the selected image symbol, rotate it and align it exactly to the line. So that the ruler does not change in the size, Look for the fact that the markings of the ruler touch exactly the dotted circle. Now select the element symbol again. Select the ruler and align this point exactly there. We measure 11.99 centimeters here. Don't worry about the accuracy. In the next update the ruler will have a tenth of a millimeter graduation. For the next length measurement, align the ruler with this point on this line. To do this, select the element symbol again and move the ruler with its center at 7 exactly to the line. Select the image symbol again, then the ruler and now rotate the ruler and align it exactly to the line. Now select the element symbol again. Select the ruler and move the zero point exactly here. Now you can measure the line length. In this case, 6.36 millimeters. As already mentioned, in the next update the ruler will have a tenth of a millimeter graduation, so that you can measure exactly. Now you can see the mathematical proof here.